The Bramwick Kingfishers travel to Cannons Creek on Saturday to take on the Porirua Vikings, who are currently sitting fourth on the leaderboard. The temperature at kickoff time was a chilling four degrees, but the home side wasted no time in warming up, scoring two tries early in the game before the Kingfishers responded with a try of their own. The Vikings led the Kingfishers 12 points to four at the halftime. The Vikings' hot start continued a couple of sets into the second half, but not everyone was on the same page. Staff for possession and penalties, the Vikings needed to make the most of limited opportunity, but the ball wouldn't go to hand. Instead, the Kingfishers hard running forwards Isop Manu, Reagan Teamo, and Chance Taudi led the charge back through the middle to put their team in a suitable scoring position. Quick thinking and a brilliant crossfield kick by the player of the day, Bronson Marino saw his winner score in the left hand corner. Marino was having a field day with the boots, setting up Andrew Lamkin, Lamana Wong, and Charles Tauli with the try each, converting all three. Vikings showed plenty of adventure and attack drew Javi Tupuivao and Sheldon Akavi before the prop forward shrugged off four players to score right next to the post. <laughs> Vikings, Pire Narimu, Greg Dean and Loloi Mani were very strong with the ball in hand, making a lot of good yards through the middle. The Kingfishers responded with some flair of their own before Sheldon Akavi put his foot down to score before full time. Final score Kingfishers 28, Vikings 22. Oh, sucks. In other news, St. George Dragons showed up in numbers ready to play, but only seven Upper Hot Tigers players showed up at Cannons Creek yesterday. The Dragons won by default. Back in the city and with their dominant pack firing all cylinders, the University Hunters clinched their second win in a row with a commanding 60-18 to 18 win over the Panthers. The Panthers showed a lot of courage and never gave up until the final whistle. Seattle Eels remain on top of the ladder, bouncing back from an 8-point deficit to beat the Lions at Wise Park, 10 points to 8. And that is our news for today. This is Tavita Murphy from Grassroots 360. Thank you. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it, watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Can you do it? Now watch me. Ooh.